collaboration on new approaches and models in artificial intelligence and machine learning are set to significantly enhance the effectiveness and efficiency of shared services such as anomaly detection. Until recently, individual financial institutions have been held back by limitations in their data scope and sharing. This has put a break on the realising that the full benefits of AI and ML. That's right, but now a transformational new way of working will leverage global transaction data in a way that has the potential to generate business benefits for banks and customers on a truly global scale. I'm delighted to say that we're joined by the Chief Innovation Officer at SWIFT, Tom Shack, to explore these new horizons in AI and machine learning. Tom, first of all, thank you so much for being with us here on Cybos TV. You've got a big story to tell. So listen, AI is a technology that shows enormous promise, but it does feel as if we've been a very long way on this journey trying to move out of the research and development stage. So how would you describe the journey adoption of AI in financial services so far? Where are we on that journey? Hey, well, thanks for, um, thanks for having me. And I wish I could fill out the, um, the survey and the question you just asked because in terms of how I feel, I feel excited. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to kind of share what SWIFT is doing with our community and how we're progressing our, our efforts in this area. So I think the, the answer, the summary answer to the question is it's progressing nicely, um, you know, we, but we still have a lot to do. Um, we see significant investment you know, across our community, you know, inside of SWIFT, uh, and we see this being set as an innovation priority. I think you also have to be conscious of the fact that in other industries, you've seen pretty amazing outcomes with AI and ML. So it's easy to assume when we look at financial services that it'll be easy and it'll dominate the world and it'll change things. But as you said, we're really we're really on a journey here. Um, the expectations are high. You know, so for example, uh, uh, Dr. Kaku in the opening of Intertribe yesterday said, you know, AI will be everywhere and it'll be nowhere. You know, it'll be uh, in homes and offices and in your clothes and even your eyes. So I won't I won't be announcing any kind of IAI technology today. But but you get the point. It's it's kind of moving along. It is a journey and it's it's not going to be, it's not just going to be um, all done tomorrow. The other thing I'd say about financial services when we start to apply AI is that it's actually pretty different, I think, in our industry than other industries. See, if you look at something technical like the signal to noise ratio, you know, if I'm training a model, you know, and I showed a thousand pictures of cats, for example, it's pretty easy to predict and, 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 and find a cat, to recognize and categorize a cat. The dynamic financial markets are much more noisy, they're much more dynamic, they're kind of harder to predict, you know, whether that's a stock movement, um, that's a, a reaction of your, your customer or, or the decision that somebody uh, makes to, uh, to transact. So I think there's still a lot to do. Um, I think we've, we've seen good progress, um, but, I, but I think it takes time, you know, to build specialized teams, to build new platforms, and really to, to move beyond proof of concepts and kind of good ideas into full-blown production at scale. Where have you seen banks uh, successfully deploying AI, Tom, and uh, which use cases have they focused on? No, I mean, there's, there's, a, whole, there's a whole range of um, progress that's being made. Uh, and I, I think that's globally. It's not in any particular service or, or function with a, inside of a financial institution. But, but I've seen really good examples where customer relationships are being improved. Uh, new digital channels are being created. Um, even even uh, I, I saw one scenario where um, as they build deep, as, as our clients build deeper relationships with their clients, they're able to do things like training their, um, their staff uh, for smarter servicing. Um, so even training of agents that deal with clients first end or front end are, are, are being um, impacted by this and we're seeing great efficiencies and great um, progress in, the, in that area. So I was going to say, Tom, that look, that we are still in the early stages of this journey, as you've rightly pointed out throughout the conversation so far. But given that, what are the challenges that still need to be overcome if we're going to bring AI and ML solutions truly and fully into production in financial services? In, in production and at scale, right? It's, it, it, it's, um, it's interesting to be able to do you know, one trade from one institution to the other, uh, it's much different to do that at scale and, and to be reliable with what you do. So I, I think the, um, you know, proof of concepts are great, but they do have limited value, as we know. I, I think the first thing for me is just a strategic vision of AI. You know, what could be, what could we do, where could we take this, um, as opposed to kind of incremental steps or, or, or improvements. Those are important, and innovation comes in 
both big and small sizes. Um, but but there's definitely um, there's definitely a, a need for strategic vision. Um, I think we need to get past fragmented data and the quality of data needs to improve in our legacy systems. And I also think there's a, there's a real issue around the high cost, cost of uh, technology and insufficient infrastructure to support all these things. So um, th as you said, there's still a lot more to do. Um, another one that I think is a little bit, and the last one I would give it as an example that's a really important for SWIFT is um, there doesn't seem to be as much collaboration that's needed uh, across different parts of the um, industry. And, and, and we're seeing this inside of SWIFT. And we think this is actually a great opportunity. Um, we actually think, you know, in the collaboration now that we're doing with uh, banks and financial service institutions, our, our strategic technology partners, we actually think that we can create a lot of value. And I'm personally convinced that we can do and provide much better solutions together collectively than any one institution can do on their own, um, even the most sophisticated institutions. Well, we love your optimism, uh, Tom, and we look forward to seeing how those solutions unfold in the coming year. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on Cybers TV. That's Chief Innovation Officer at SWIFT, Tom Schack.